You know it's a good show when it's making me go off on tangent after tangent. Enjoy. All right. Again, you're changing scenes. Just show us what happens to Emma. <laughs> Is it obvious I've never played the guitar? He was gonna get a new wreck. He was gonna. He was gonna keep going. You found the body hack that makes blood temporarily bind twice the oxygen. <laughs> All right, let's let's listen. Let's listen. Ich gefunden, wobei das Blut kurzzeitig die doppelte Menge Sauerstoff bindet. Deswegen kann ich quasi für immer die Luft anhalten. Bist so ein Nerd. Aber cool ist es schon, oder? Ja, cool ist es. Bam. So. First of all, <laughs> if we're talking about the actual hemoglobin binding the oxygen, which is the u the word they used in the uh, in the subtitles, then I don't know how that's possible. But I might eat my words in 70 years, so I'm not going to. Tr <laughs> so I'm not gonna say anything here. I don't actually know enough about the hemoglobin chemical structure to refute that, but. Hemoglobin either binds four oxygen molecules or it doesn't bind any. I don't know how you would make it bind eight. I don't know if that's possible. <laughs> I just don't know. But there is a way. Okay, so at sea level, the plasma oxygen concentration is uh, three milliliters per liter. And we're not talking about the stuff that's actually bound to your blood cells, the hemoglobin, the red blood cells. We're talking about the stuff that's freely floating in, in, your, uh, in, the, in, the, in the liquid part of your blood. But if you do, if you go into a hyperbaric chamber, which means this is like not at sea level, but basically at under sea level, more pressure, hyperbaric, more pressure, then, oof, oof, oof. Can you guys see that? From three to sixty. I didn't know that was it was that much. So basically, think of this this little container here. It's sealed from all sides, and there's this kind of syringe piston thing, whatever it's called. All right, and imagine it's filled with water until here. Over here, it's not vacuum sealed. There's a bunch of gas here. If you push this down, that'll mean the pressure over here will raise which in turn means more of the gas here will diffuse into this water so now imagine if you're in a hyperbaric chamber hyperbaric meaning more pressure all around in in the chamber and you're taking 100 percent oxygen then the extra pressure will simulate this and more of that oxygen gas will diffuse into here it said at atmosphere levels it would be three milliliters to 60 milliliters so uh, it doesn't actually technically d double what the blood can hold because the stuff that's actually diffused is just 2%, like we said. It doesn't change the binding of the hemoglobin, but it does change the diffusion of it, which if you need that, it helps a lot. And it temporarily, it, it does, it, the effects do go on. So uh, interesting that he, uh, that he brought that up. <laughs> But I don't know if you can actually double it or if you can change the binding at all. But hyperbaric oxygen therapy, you can you can raise the, you can instantly just raise the oxygen levels in your uh, in your blood. It is possible. So I should probably tell you we, we use we use that when when there's like maybe maybe there's a, a diabetic foot injury, you know, it's just not healing. Then we can use a hyperbaric oxygen therapy to to supply that place with more oxygen you know and it helps with the healing and whatnot it's a it's a pretty cool thing with like burns or let's say if if a surgery like a graft didn't is, is is like not really working you can help that heal those divers decompression sickness it helps with that it helps with a lot and it's a pretty cool therapy keep that in the back of your mind it's not a pill though <laughs> I'm <laughs> just intrigued by the decision making progress process. <laughs> My name is Emma. Komm bitte runter, bring dein Buch mit. Wie hast du die Aufgabe Nummer 9 gelöst? Naja, ich hatte die Idee, RNA direkt ins Enzym zu laden, um uh, die mutierte Stelle im Genom effizienter zu ersetzen. Und dann hast du die Guide RNA direkt mit dem Cas-Enzym gekoppelt. Ja. Wo genau in diesem Buch steht, dass das der richtige Weg ist? Ich habe das Buch nicht benutzt. 
Sie hat das Buch nicht benutzt. Ihr hingegen habt alles genauso gelöst, wie es hier drin steht. Schlag es auf, erste Seite. Kann mir jemand sagen, was das Problem mit diesem Buch ist? Niemand? Es ist drei Jahre alt. Wisst ihr, was das in unserem Feld bedeutet? Es ist wertlos. Uff. Veraltet. I was expect expecting her to say it was a bit older th than three years old, but apparently uh, information is growing even more rapidly in, the in those days. But yeah, uh, they say uh, half of what you learn is wrong. The problem is the teachers don't know which half of it is wrong. You can have to find that out yourself. Information is rapidly evolving. And if I go and try to study from a 1900s book, which they're pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. But it's not its not gonna be the smartest thing to do on its own, you know? Maybe if you have other stuff in conjunction, sure, but... Ihr könnt gehen. Wenn ihr bereit seid, selber zu denken, könnt ihr wiederkommen. Und schmeißt die Bücher in den Müll! Those books were like 50 bucks! Du willst doch weiterkommen, oder? Dann steh zu dem, was du kannst. Scheinheit bringt dich nicht weiter. Ich würde gern Hiwi für ihre klinischen Studien werden. Ich kann sehr hart arbeiten lassen und nicht ablecken und bin zu hundertprozentig zuverlässig. Langweilig, bla bla bla. Wenn die Biografie ist, da mein Professor. Are you 100% reliable though? You did party right before the class. And then you almost forgot it. And then you almost missed it. Und haben Sie die Idee zum Nachweis von zirkulierenden Tumorzellen im Blut gehabt, was schließlich zur Revolution bei Früherkennen von Krebs geführt hat. Da sind alle Hiwis damals im Hauptschul nicht drauf gekommen, weil sie in zu vorgefettigen Muster denken. Ihr Professor hat seinen ganzen Erfolg an der Erstsemesterin zu verdanken. Ihnen. Weil er den Mut hatte, neuen Talenten eine Chance zu geben. Uff. Ja? Die haben die Guts. Vielleicht ist das zwar ein bisschen too much, aber ich überleg's mir. Na, <lacht> das war ein bisschen much. Nimm mir deine Unterlagen und komm morgen früh um 9 Uhr hier hin. Danke. Hey! Der arme Busch! I thought it was a Steve Bell or something. Äh, Jasper kennt ihr ja schon. Das ist sein Mitbewohner. Niklas heiße ich. Hey. Hi. Hey, Oh. The guy that was holding hands with her at the beginning of the show. Hm. Mama, Papa, wo fahren wir denn hin? Berlin. Wir treffen jemanden, der für die Zeitung arbeitet. Das ist immer noch hinter uns. She looked like she was having fun. <laughs> I mean, that's exactly what people look at roller coasters, you know? <laughs> Shouting and having their hands up. I guess her hands were down, <laughs> but still, roller coasters still goes loop to loop, you know? Mama! Papa! Hm? No. Ach, ich hab nur gefragt, ob du noch was machen willst. Sorry, ich bin schon voll beim Morgen. Ist mir total wichtig. Alles gut. Du bist halt ehrgeizig. <laughs> Pots. What? What? <laughs> Why do you just keep walking? Is it that kind of weird? Um, komm ich auch eine? <laughs> so eine Karte bekommt man nicht einfach so. Die muss man sich verdienen. Not having a card is so bad. When you're a student going around the hospital with a lot of doors that are that are locked and opened with uh, with cards, <laughs> you keep waiting at doors, knocking, hoping someone passes by that door, <laughs> waiting, waiting, and then when someone comes, you're like, oh, thank you so much, <laughs> thank you so much. Um der Ethikkommission Studienverlauf, bla bla bla, mach dich bitte mit allem vertraut, dass du den Probanden Fragen beantworten kannst. Und dann lass sie das ausfüllen. Patientenaufklärung, Einverständniserklärung der DNA-Speicherung auf Lebenszeit. Sie speichern Ihre DNA? <lacht> Natürlich. Ich speichere die DNA aller Patientenprobanden seit Beginn meiner Karriere. Je größer das Sample, desto besser die Forschung. Guten Morgen, ich bin Tanja Lorenz. Ich nehme jetzt jeweils eine Speichelprobe von euch. Mir wird euch aufklären und den Papierkram erledigen. Was, well, she didn't even read it yet. explain it already. Ich kann daran Geschlecht, Herkunft, Krankheiten, auch zukünftige und den Zeitpunkt ablesen, an dem du sterben wirst. Das werde ich natürlich nicht machen. Mich interessiert nur der Parameter Fruchtbarkeit. 
So, wo ist denn jetzt die Nummer 12 hingegangen? Dann ist nach Hause. Die wollte nicht wissen, wann sie stirbt. <lacht> Ach, dann springst du eben einen mir. Ich? Then you have the job. Ich zieh noch eine andere mir. Uh. Uh oh, that was kind of weird. Alles klar? Bist du blass? Alles bestens. Das ist das Licht. Was passiert denn jetzt mit den Speicherproben? Erst bei Sequenzt und vergleicht sie mit allen Proben aus meiner Datenbank. She, she got sequenced. She is now in the system. Das ist eh morgen Mittag. Mach du in der Zwischenzeit noch mal Blutbilder und stell dich hin. Alright, just get someone else's. Just get a roommate sample. There we go. Winter Productions? <gasps> we have the same last name! Are we related? <laughs> if I get hot easily. An attic made of glass? Uh, no. It's just a little corner. Yes. Alles an mir ist echt. Sie erst mal noch fragen, ob er mitkommt, so ganz spontan. Blaue Augen. Okay, so langsam wirst du ein bisschen weird, Pippi. Hast du irgendwelche bakteriellen Infektionen oder Krankheiten? Findest du, ich benutze immer ein Gummi. Sogar wenn ich Hacke bin. Bin kerngesund. Alright. Dann fahren wir zum See. Alright, 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 alright. Sicher? Knallt ordentlich. Packs of Punch! Stop! Stop implanting your stuff with stuff! Bist du wahnsinnig? Was machst du? Subkutana Arzneimittel ausstoßt, Chip. Was? Nein, ganz im Haupt. You're okay with just cutting yourself open with a scalpel? But you can't just inject stuff subcutaneously, bro? <laughs> I guess doing it one time is better than doing it a lot. I guess. Ole, du spinnst. Wirklich. Wie alle großen Künstler. Okay. Take the thing and shove it under your skin. <laughs> nice instructions. <laughs> Pun time. <gasps> you like puns? I love puns. Nee, okay, Ole, stop, 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 stop. Hast du medizinisches Garn? Äh, ja, ich hab alles. Nee, 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 Ole, lass das mal, lass das mal. What the hell? They have everything. I don't even have those. I want those. I do have some uh, actual medical sutures, though. Let me see if I can. That was the third time I almost broke it today. I don't know what I'm doing. Why am I so clumsy today? Synthetic absorbable braided coated violet surgical polyglactine suture. See? There's the needle. There we go, you can see that. Why I got needles in the house? Am I good, bro? <laughs> Everyone has needles in their house. They're usually just not surgical grade, you know? I have it for practicing, actually. See? I have a lot more where that came from. I, I practice tying knots because I want to be an orthopedic surgeon when I grow up, you know? <laughs> so if I want to be a surgeon, it's pretty fun to tie knots. Why not be good at tying knots from the get-go, you know? House tour, please. All right, I'll do a quick spin. <sighs> That's my balcony. There's my couch. And uh, to, the, to the right was my bed. But it's not made. <laughs> so you can't see it. Good. Yeah, also Ooh, 300 followers! <laughs> he has more followers than me! <laughs> They're anxiously waiting! Über 300. Okay. Honestly, if I was doing stuff like this, I, I feel like I'd have more followers. I mean, it's kind of like a... It's kind of like a Mr. Beast thing, you know? Your content is so outlandish and so good that people are going to tune in. Oh, but it's not too outlandish. Mmm, a lot of people are doing it, I see. Double Felix. tausende followers. Dabei mache ich viel geilere Sachen. Every small of social media content creator ever. My THC implantat posted. There's an insulin chip. You built an insulin chip with THC. Doesn't it just make so much sense? Have an insulin chip and never have to think about it again. While the chip also senses your blood sugar levels and and knows when you eat throughout throughout the day and what you're gonna eat. Oh, that's such good technology! I want that to be real. Is this my nagelschere? Uh, whoops. Okay, 
Busted. 370 euros? Please. You forced your help on him. By the way, 370 euros for a simple stitch? <laughs> what? Is, is that real, Germany? My first... My, my my initial uh I I love that follow notification. <laughs> Man, that girl looks like from some angles, not always, but from some angles she looks a lot like a doctor I know. It's kind of weird. She doesn't look depressed and sleep deprived. What am I talking about? <laughs> Ooh. Krass, wie lange die Wunde war. Das war jetzt nicht wirklich länger als sonst. Nee. Was? Na klar war es das Wende. <laughs> Wait. Wait. Why doesn't it work? Why does it work? As if it was such a normal thing. <laughs> the hemoglobin will bind eight molecules of oxygen. <laughs> no, it won't. Also, he says temporarily with a pill, which is also weird. So you have to change the structure of the hemoglobin and the holds eight, but only temporarily. And then the structure changes back by itself when it wears off. That's again, I don't want to eat my words 70 years later. So I'm not going to say it's impossible, but <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> or it's not fast enough. Is this okay for you? What? That was English. Was that not English? That was English. Is this okay for you? Is this okay for you? <laughs> it's not possible. It's TV. But I'll, I mean, they, this is like a futuristic time. But it's also like building on stuff that we do have, like gene therapy and, and stuff that's like in its infancy. So the stuff that they show a lot of it i can't imagine but like that's actually the only thing that i can't imagine but the problem is i don't know enough about the hemoglobin chemical structure and how it can be altered or whatever so i can't really talk about it too much but a lot of the stuff is kind of like feasible at least you know i know it's tv but i feel like with a futuristic standard if i analyze this with a futuristic standard i'm still doing the show justice and i'm not nitpicking swap time <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> We're jumping off on tangents here? Usually guys think I'm hot. You are. Yeah, that's because I'm pretty. <laughs> but that's not forever. <laughs> I mean, I'm dumb, but that's just a coincidence. <laughs> Open your mouth. Open your mouth. There's something in your mouth. <laughs> I need to look in your mouth. It's a medical diagnosis situation thingy. <laughs> what did she swab? Looked like she just swabbed her tongue. Does that work? At the beginning of the episode, someone said they collected DNA of every one of their patients, but does she store their d data with their consent? Um, I'd say definitely. It's not that easy, that hard to put it in, put a clause in to the consent form. Like they're obviously consenting. <laughs> you wouldn't do something like this without consent. Like when you're going into the trial like this, you're gonna sign some papers, and in there, there's there's gotta be something like that. Mia, Mia. Scheiße, ich bin so ein Jude. Das war so leid. Einfach nicht weiter bewegen, okay? Ich höre es zum Aufwischen. Das ist mir leid. Alles gut? Sorry, das ist ein Chaos machen. Seriously? Slow. Ah, das bleibt mir besser für uns. She's gonna put it on diagonally? Oh no. She got it. She got it. She got it. It's gonna fall off and then it's going to be a... It's gonna fall off and then it's the sample's gonna be trash because we don't know whose it is. 
and then they're gonna take another swap and then she's gonna have to do it again or she's gonna get into the system because it's not gonna work or alternatively they're all labeled and only one of them isn't labeled but i don't think you, that can work i don't think that works no <laughs> that's trash if the if the label falls off why do you have the urge to subscribe to my youtube channel <laughs> That's not suspicious at all. She came in here, she dropped some coffee, and then she ran away quickly. And then we look at the tube with her name on it, and it looks like the sticker's been taken off and put back on. Hmm. <gasps> it was upside down. Uh oh. Uh oh. I have freckles. <laughs> Ooh. She knows too much. Strange. It's my makeup. I make up freckles because they look cool. Okay, wash it up. Um, no, I can't. It's permanent. <laughs> I mean, you were bound to get caught with something that complex. It, what it's probably not easy is, hmm, blonde, blue eyes, gimme, gimme, saliva time. Blaue Augen hast du? Blond bist du? Passt alles. Die Sequenzgenauigkeit ist nicht perfekt. There we go, easy. Ja, das war wohl ein bisschen geslammt, huh? Hey. Am I fertile? <gasps> Dude, I want one of those! <laughs> so now she can track when she gets in and out. Hmm. Bindrin! <laughs> That's kind of funny. <laughs> I don't know, German is usually kind of like a weird language for me, but <laughs> I like that, I like that a lot. Bin drin! Oh, archive means archive? That's interesting. Can I be the biohackers guy now? I think I'm the biohackers guy now. Subscribe to the biohackers guy. Next episode, real soon.